Greetings to everyone who is listening and watching me right about now. Brothers and sisters, I know some of you have been waiting for this amazing word. And the word is here to bless you. Brothers and sisters, I have a word of direction to you. And remember that if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Turn on all the notifications so that you may never miss out on these videos. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can do so through your giving. You remember, you can give through my PayPal account. There is a link in the About section. Just click on it and you can give any amount. If you want me to pray for you, send me a message through my email address or my WhatsApp number. Brothers and sisters, today's word is that the Lord will do it for you. The Lord will do it for you. He will fight for you that battle. Some of you have been fighting battles that you cannot comprehend. Some of you have been wondering why things are intensifying. Not knowing that God is fighting for you. That enemy that has come up against you in big numbers, they are going to flee. They are going to flee. Let me read to you this word that is going to bless you. This word is from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 17. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 17. It reads, You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not fear, or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. Remember, the Bible says the Lord is with you and you will not need to fight in this battle. Some of you are battling diseases. Diseases that are consuming your body. Diseases that are making you lose hope. Some of you are battling court cases where people are all over you. Where situations have actually made you almost lose your mind. Some of you, it is people that keep on saying words that bring you down. But the Bible says you will not need to fight in this battle. You have been fighting battles for so long. You have been trying to prove people wrong. You have been trying to uh, put a point. But my brothers and sisters, position yourselves. That's what the Bible says. Position yourselves and stand still in prayer. You position yourself in prayer. And as you position yourself, do not be afraid. Do not fear. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this word has encouraged you. Until next time, shalom.